Let's take a look at creating categories in Joomla. Categories are essentially like folders. They help you stay organized and keep your relevant content together. On the left hand side we can click on Category Manager in order to enter a new category. We can also click on Content in the top menu, go to Category Manager and click Add New Category. Clicking Add New Category will of course take you to a page where you can add the new category and clicking on Category Manager either here in the top menu or in the left hand menu will take you to a list of all of the categories you currently have created. Joomla automatically creates one category for you when you install it and that's called Uncategorized as you'll see here. If you would like to have a new category you can click the green New button in the upper left hand corner. One thing that you'll want to notice is when you are creating a category or an article or really anything on the website from your admin panel, your control panel, there you will see asterisks. So for instance under title or next to title here we have an asterisk. That means that that is a required field. Anything else is completely optional. So for a category the only thing that you will be required to enter is a title. So you can enter your title and here you can choose if you would like to have a parent category which means that this category would ultimately be a subcategory. So uncategorized for example if I selected that would be the main category and my art would be a subcategory underneath of uncategorized. If you would like to keep this as an unpublished category that you may want to publish in the future that you can select that here but generally that's some you're just going to be publishing the category. Once you have entered the title you have a few options. You can you have a few options for saving the category. You have the green save button here. Now if you click on the green save button it will save the new category and you will remain on this page. This will allow you to make any additional changes to the category that you'd like to see. The save and close button will save the category that you've created and it will return you to the full list of categories that your site has. Clicking save and new will save the category that you just created and it will generate a new form for you to create another category. So if you're first setting up your site and you have five categories to enter this is the button you want. If you've changed your mind you can obviously hit cancel. I'll go ahead and hit save and close and we'll be redirected back to our category list where we'll see the green message box letting us know that the category was saved successfully. You can at any time go back and change or modify a category. So for instance, this dash here is letting me know that my art is a subcategory of categorized. And I decide I want the category to be its own category. So I will click back on it and go back to parent and select no parent. Clicking save and close that will return me to the list and I'll see now it is a main category. If at any time you want to unpublish a category, there are actually three ways that you can do it. You can click on the box next to the category you wish to unpublish and you can click the unpublish button here. You can also go into the category and on the right hand side you can go to the unpublish button and click save. And your third option, which is definitely the easiest, is simply to click on the check mark that is in the status column. So if I click on unpublish, if I click on the check mark here you'll see it'll tell me it will unpublish this item. Unpublishing this item I'll get a confirmation here that it's been done but you'll also see that the green check mark changes to a red X. So at any time I can click on it again and it will return to publish status. So if I unpublish this item, if I have multiple categories I can sort by clicking on status through my categories that, and I can separate them by which ones are published and which ones are unpublished. 
So that's particularly handy if you have a lot of categories and you know you're looking for one that's published or you want to see what's unpublished and what needs worked on. And you can also sort these by title if you want to uh, review them quickly if you're looking for them in alphabetical order. So now that you know more about adding categories to your Joomla site, let's take a look at how to actually add articles.